Mark, welcome to my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. This is episode 12 of our uh, upgrade video series on moving the water tank from inside the kitchen cabinet underneath the trailer. We are getting really close to being done. Um, I am now, I have three things left to do. I have to get the filler neck. The filler neck used to just drop down and connect to the tank that was in the kitchen. Now I need to run it across the trailer and down underneath. And the vent line, which used to just come out of the bottom of the trailer, um, I now need to hook it back up where it belonged. Now, I don't know, most of you have probably seen the video on the filler neck, the issue that I was having where they didn't um, hook this up correctly. They, you know, uh, anyway, if you haven't seen that video on water damage caused by them not using the uh, the vent line on these guys and not plugging it when they didn't use it, um, you should go and see that video. But like what I said, we need to go from here across and down. And I'm going to do that. I could do that with the original um, kind of hose that's there. But the problem with the original hose is you end up like this where it sags and then that traps water and you can't um, when winter time comes that water freezes and damages the hose so what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it with um, hard line um, instead of that soft um, that instead of that kind of hose there I'm gonna do it with this hard line and that way I can drill a hole on this side and drill a hole in that side and have it on a slight slope not this exaggerated so that water will come in and run smoothly and drain all the way out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make adjustments and alignments inside there um, get the holes drilled right and come right through the top of the back of the cabinets um, back of the toilet back of the kitchen cabinet and back of the refrigerator and drop down um, back of the refrigerator and drop straight down should work really well um, so I'm going to start uh, marking it up, um, making adjustments, uh, finding out um, uh, where it needs to go, and we'll go ahead and get that line in. I'm also, the vent line, since the vent line needs to go in the exact same place that the, uh, the uh, filler neck needs to go, I'm just going to tie wrap the um, tubing that I use for the vent line to the uh, pipe that I use for the fill line and they'll go to the same place and give it good support. So let's get at that. Okay, um, this is hard, hard work. I actually had to pull my trailer. I had to take it down off the jack stands, put it, pull it out, hook it up to my truck so that I could get to this because I was trapped between here. Hard, hard today. But in any case, um, that is where the um, I'm filler goes. it out of uh, PVC in sections. So we're just doing fitting of all of this back in there. Um, and then I'll run my connection to it. But it's been all day just... <laughs> Just getting this the pieces to work in here. It's much diff, more difficult to put pipes in after the trailer is put together than put them in before it's put together. So um, that's what we're doing. Um, we'll continue to go on forward. Yay! Finally, we have the filler hose hooked up. We have the vent hose hooked up. Everything's clamped down. Put some silicon around the surface of that and remount that. Yay! <laughs> 
man, this has been a hard, a long road, really hard. But that takes it all the way underneath the kitchen sink. Um, and from there, I'll route it across the kitchen sink and uh, underneath the refrigerator. So let's get hey. it. Hey! <laughs> uh, thank goodness for a little, uh, little progress. But here we go. I've got it all cocked in. Um, like we talked about before when cocking other things, put a little bead around the screw head itself so it seals here. And as with any caulk, less is more. You just want to put a little bit of caulk on there, just enough to squeeze out. If you look, see how nice that is? Just enough to squeeze out. But there's my fill and my vent works. It doesn't dump water <laughs> into the wall anymore. Yay. So we are... Um, this is now uh, plumbed in past the uh, the bathroom, and it's now under the kitchen sink. So let's go take a look at uh, what's going okay, on. Okay, so here we are under the sink. That's my new drain line way in the back of the cabinet. And this is the vent line. And the drain line is going to go downhill. I've got it. I've got this hole drilled about a quarter inch higher then that hole so this whole pipe as i run across here will be sloped down and the vent is up higher than that and the vent line will be up on top next to those wires yay so um let's get at it <laughs> i need to put a uh, connector on there come out and we're going to drill a hole just next to the vent right there so it's out of the way so my wife still gets to use this cabinet but i'll put it right right about there right behind there and that's just in front of the water tank um excellent so yeah, let's get tabbers out. here we've got another day um we have finished let's get in the back of the back of the bathroom here we have get some light in there for you we have connected, you see the water filler neck there? And it connects so it passes, it passes through the back of the bathroom. And comes out in the kitchen cabinet. So today we're gonna we're gonna connect from here. I've drilled all the holes from the back of the kitchen cabinet into the refrigerator cabinet, underneath the refrigerator, from the back of the refrigerator cabinet, down through the floor and to that tank. So let's get the PVC glue out. I've made up the sections already um, and we'll start put piecing this together. Getting close now, guys. Okay, we're getting this all glued up. That's in, let's look underneath the the refrigerator and ready to go on down if you look close it's really important Let's see if I can hold this level that drain it's not a drain it's a fill neck but it slopes down just a little bit you can probably see it right there it slopes down so that uh, winterization won't be a problem for me this won't trap any water um, so let's go under the trailer and get this guy, um, this last piece um, connected up. The fill neck is now 100% complete. So there it is coming out of the, out of the um, sink area and down and dropping down. And we'll look underneath. There it is. Coming from underneath and connecting to the tank. Yay. Okay. Last thing that we need to connect up is that vent line. So I need to drill some holes and route it down here too. Okay. So this is Next. the tubing um, for the vent coming out as we passed it past the bathroom. I'm going to go right along the top up by those wires, go into the refrigerator cabinet, and drop down the same way. Alrighty then, there is the vent line. The vent line coming through the 
here, dropped it down through the vent hole and under the trailer. And here we are under the trailer and there's the vent going up underneath. So we have the pickup, the fill neck, and the vent all connected all the way through. The last thing that we've got to do is connect up the wires and wait for a little bit of warm weather so that I can test. But uh, one more video. Thanks for watching number 12. Um, looks like 13 is my lucky number for getting this done. But that turned out really nice, folks. We'll do a little bit of cleanup. Um, and when the weather warms up just a little, little bit, just uh, something about in the high 30s, I'll go ahead and uh, put some water in there and we will run a test. Excellent. Uh, see you in the next, um, in the last episode, episode 13, clean up and test.